to kind of manage NoPixel? Are you helping with the PD as well? I don't kind of manage NoPixel, brother. I run NoPixel, brother. And everything you got, all the changes you guys have seen, and the ones that you guys have seen coming up, you know, I've ob obviously been involved in helping that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jesus <sighs> Christ, Leslie, you look fucking god awful. Go get a haircut and shave that fucking beard, please. Yeah, well, I was, I was there for like a week. That's like, you no, know, it's two weeks. It's like three years in Raymond Roman off time. So my hair grew a lot. Oh, what the fuck? My is beard Bucky doing went. Here? What the fuck is Bucky doing here? I'm not coming to the meeting, but I want to talk after it. <laughs> this guy is an absolute idiot. Yeah, no shit, he, Leslie. He called. He called me earlier, and he said, "Hey, I need advice. Can you meet up with me?" And I met up with him here. And he said, "Lang hates me. What should I do?" And I heard him out. And he told me why you hate him, and I said, "Well, you probably." have to give time or you have to be the person that you were when he liked you and he and then he said do you think i should come to the meeting and i said no i don't think you should come to the meeting i'll tell lang that you want to speak with him and then he still comes here and says to himself yeah leslie uh bucky not listening to orders and doing whatever the fuck he wants calling me surprised leslie yeah i guess so i mean i literally told him not to do this and he still did it Motherfucker. And then Shell isn't coming to the meeting. He was going to be late today. Greeting, Chief. Hello, Leslie. You look. I ha have have you had a sh a shower? No. And and why not? Didn't have time. There's been a, a whole week since you've been back. I've been away on business. There was no showers. Maybe the wash. I didn't look for one. Hmm. Take Very problematic. Life. We need to invent a portable shower, song, which is very convenient. Oh, what about those sprays that they use for dogs? Um, uh, what's it called? With you. I mean, I probably could take a business meeting while in the shower. Yeah. Waterproof Bluetooth, maybe? Uh, you can put it on those, you can put your phone in those Ziploc bags and just like... Um, that's, that's way too poor. Okay. Um, yeah, just a Maybe waterproof phone, I guess. we can install phone, like, a, like a surround microphone system, cardioid in the uh, shower. Hmm. Are you prone to singing in the shower, Mr. Leslie? What? Are you prone to singing in the shower? Why would you? Listen, Eve, I'm not a big shower guy. I'm going to be honest. Okay. So I feel like this is very much LIP talk, and I can't really what relate. What the fuck you mean right? you're not a shower guy? How a waste of time. So what do you do then? Your business. So you don't shower. That's what I'm saying. She got oh, those I think little spray I, cans. I have showered. It's not like I haven't showered. I think last time, probably 90, 99. And you haven't showered since. Oh, I've been in, been in ocean, lake, oh, stuff like that. Throw a bit of right. soap in there. Right, right, right. I what just feel like it's a bad, uh, uh, bad usage of time. Uh, he is busy, so he was going to come after a meeting. Busy doing what? Busy doing uh, what? Um, well, he told me that he he said that he was going to do a giant line of coke, and I said I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need something else to work with here. And then he said, motherfucker. You guys have been gone for a week. I've been to every single meeting, and you guys didn't show up. <laughs> I called this bluff, but he wouldn't, he, wouldn't back down. He was. He was at every single meeting. Yeah, fair enough. I, I've uh, had to take vacation. You know, I've been contemplating a lot of things, and I will be laying it at the meeting today. All right. 
I can confirm he was at every single meeting. He kicked it off and um, Dewey was there and he said, kick it off, Dewey, and then Dewey kicked it off. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Fair enough. Where the fuck is everybody else? Nobody just shows up at meetings yeah. anymore? Um, last and... week it was pretty sad. It was me, Denzel, and Dewey at one meeting, and then it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, very, very sad attendance last week, to be honest. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I apologize for my spam of messages in your text messages, Lang. Um, I had oh, to I keep reminding myself to not forget about stuff. Holy shit, Eve. Yeah, I'm sorry. You have to do I budgets to, like, before you get rusty. Oh, shit. Yeah, we that we are behind on budgets. Any disorientation of forty minutes, and please can we pay budgets before we go to war with the world? Yeah, Jesus. oh, that's before that was before that Friday. Updates for this week: meetings were pretty quiet. Then Zell was holding it down, showing up for every meeting, although we didn't have much to talk about. Greetings, Nancy. Hello. Quincy has scheduled a meeting for Monday regarding the upcoming mayoral campaign. I didn't want to shut him down. I'm definitely not going to be there for that. If someone from Polito Pets wants a meeting with you as well regarding their new important animals, I think. Yeah, I think so I have to do budgets. I Reminder to myself, no DOC problem. pay. Okay. Yeah, and then DOC came and talked to me. Yeah. I was like, hey, I Nancy, to send how you doing? Notes. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Chilling. Uh, Missed you. Miss you too. I'm back. Feels good to be back. Uh -huh. Welcome home. Thank you, thank you. Well, it looks like I didn't miss much. Hell yeah. I'm gonna grab some water here in the back. Give me a second. Right back Not really. Yeah. How was your weekend, Nancy? Um, pretty good. Trying to think. Yo, yeah. is that Marlo? Yo, what up? Yo. Oh. Marlo. Did you get new ideas, Marlo? Um, yes. God, God. Well, I, I did feel your absence, Marlo. I'm glad you are you're back. Yeah, so uh, back. Yeah. That, that sounds like you're not back. I'm. I'm what the I'm fuck here? is Marlo doing here? What do you mean? I work here. I thought I you, thought you didn't work here anymore. Wait, did I not did I quit? Yeah, I thought. Pretty sure you quit. Did he quit? Ooh. I don't think he quit. I think he's was... did, did I quit? Pretty pretty sure he quit though. Did I, quit? I don't think he quit. Ooh, this, this could be awkward. Did you quit, Marlo? I did I I don't remember. Did I quit? I thought you quit. Did you not quit? I I don't remember. All right. Well, welcome Who would back. know if I quit? This is important. Well, welcome back, Tim. Probably Tim. Yeah, Tim. Tim. Yeah. Well, to be fair, technically, I was never hired because nobody ever fucking signed the paperwork. So, well, welcome back, Marlo. I was. We were paying you for nothing. I mean, that's arguable, anyways, ain't it? Yeah. Right. Uh, Penny is not around today. Lexi's not around today. Okay. Uh, where's and Fifi? Neither is Denzel. Kitty is not around today. Fifi, yes. Harry. And what about Harry? Uh, the last I spoke to Fifi, she has been holed up in her apartment playing Zelda. 
Fine. Haven't spoke to Harry or Denzel. The fuck has Harry been? I haven't seen him at all, uh, actually. He wasn't around hmm. last week at all. So where's Harry been? Who saw him last? The last meeting we had before Lang went away. Yeah. I saw what Denzel. What did he do then? I saw Denzel on like Saturday, I think. Well, we tried to save you, Leslie. What happened after? Uh, well, we failed. I saved myself. Thank you very much. Yeah. What happened to Harry? Uh, well, we failed. Okay, so what does that mean? What happened to Harry? I don't remember. It all happened so quickly. It's not great. Yeah. Mm, did anybody get a text from a doctor or anything? No. Uh, I did not. Yeah, I didn't either. Heard that Wyland died. That's the only doctor text I got. Wyland died? Yeah, Wyland died. Who was that? Shit. Um, he did some graphic design work for us. He, uh, the only person to ever pass the window washer test. Damn. Rest he was the chosen one. Was he a funeral? Yep. Actually, working on that. Uh, to told uh, Denzel about it, and he's he's reaching out. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, what have we missed, guys? I mean, it's been like five, six, seven days. Like, we mu must have missed something, right? No. 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 Really? What are no. They no, we no, couldn't I, train people. We couldn't train people because there were no wingsuits in the store. I had two wingsuits on me, so I tried every single day to train two staff members, and okay. nobody was around. I finally got a hold of Snow yesterday. He's been uh, moving his house within Los Santos, so he hasn't been able to be around. Uh, Copper right. hasn't been around at all. Lovesick is around sometimes. Damn, what happened to so, Copper? Is she all good? Yeah, I think so. I think her schedule is just, like, weird. Because all the cops... Like, normally she's around now, right? Yeah. Um, but the, all the cops I've spoken to about her are just like, oh, yeah, she's around at, like, weird times right now. And so I have no idea how to get a hold of her. But I've left messages and called and stuff so uh snow has done an email with every all the cops to be involved though so when he's back in a day or two then we're gonna be all set up all right Hell yeah, yeah we we couldn't couldn't train anybody more than just two people because it's the only two wingsuits i had on me left over from last time gotcha uh, yeah. any drama um uh. i declared myself the leader of cg and nobody opposed to it why would so. you ever do that i was bored like <laughs> so uh, like somebody's bored like they go to the beach or go to like a theme park why would you ever do that i don't know it worked out pretty well got keys to maldini so now i get free pizza i stepped down okay. nice uh okay. something that myself kitty lexi and penny did when one day when nancy was out um we sat down here and we brainstormed a bit about just things that we would like to see change in the city for a bit. So we'll probably uh, at some point just sit down and present that as ideas. Okay. Um, so that was actually very, very effective. I need to send you the notes on that, Nancy. Um, yeah, that sounds good. And yeah, that's something we did. And yeah, and I've just gotten a lot of phone calls about budgets not being paid. So yeah. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, much I'll, it. I'll make sure to do that today. Oh, one very important thing is that uh, it's a discussion right now um, in case Marty does call you and ask for it again, because I know Marty and he's probably going to do it. Uh, he keeps on asking about VCB's asset fees being paid, but it is being um, it is being handled by Crane and the Senate. So Watch VCB. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind, rewind. What do you mean? Um, uh, they got a dealership. Yeah, so they have the car dealership, but they are drowning in asset fees, so they aren't making any money off the cars they sell. So they are asking, uh, once again, if the state can pay the asset fees that they owe the state. Is this um, something you guys do for companies? Shouldn't this be a private no. issue? No, mm. we, we don't do it for companies, but they keep on asking because they can't make any money. So, oh, um, so, like so they can't make any... So who owns... It's uh, Marty. Marty owns a dealership, mm -hmm. and he has to pay asset fees 
for those and cars. For those cars, yes. and he's asking the state to pay them. Why, why the fuck would the state ever do that? That's uh, what we're trying to explain to him, but he keeps on. Has this not happened arguing. in the past for other businesses? Mm -mm. No, I the don't state think hasn't so. paid them. People like Dean and Eddie oh, and okay. have paid those asset fees. For How does them. um? How does uh, Mushkin Motors work now? Do they have to um, pay asset fees? Eventually, they do. Yes, because the even though they sell the car to the garage, um, they put the so they've got an ownership of the auto's garage, correct? However, at some point, somebody is going to have to pay the asset fees when that car comes out of that garage. Right, but the business doesn't have to pay an upkeep. Correct. Right. So, so, so and, do the asset fees, sorry, uh, do, they, do they accumulate over time? Uh, Malo? Uh, no, I don't think that is. Uh, no, that garage is kind of uh, like the contract we had with the garage was that while cars are being held there, they won't accrue asset fees. So I don't even think like, like wait, I just wait, had to wait. Why, why are you saying we? Were you part of VCB? Well, we no, Somewhere? we're talking about the autos garage because that's what I we see. sold to Mushkins. Um, yeah, to my knowledge, I, I didn't know that the state didn't do it, but I know that like Rami and Mary did get, uh, payment from, I guess, somebody to handle those fees. I, but, um, but like you saying, I guess it's not the state that handled that. It was oh, private just people. question. How did Marty get a hold of this business from the first place? Um, as far as, as I'm aware, when it was in Mickey's term, when Alex was deputy mayor, it was a business that was never supposed to be um, approved, but somehow I think Ayub approved it, and then it was too late to go back on it because no car dealerships were supposed to be approved. Um, <laughs> that's after, correct. I think Mushkin Motors. That's what Alex said. Right. So yeah, currently really there are. Fucked himself. Then was what it sounds like. Right. Well, partly he got fucked by other people, but. It was also maybe a business that never should have been approved? Yes, and the right uh, construction never came with the business. It wasn't available. Right, and was he aware of that? Uh, I think so. Okay, well, I would hope matters. So. it matters if he was aware of that or not. Was he aware yeah. that his business wasn't supposed to be approved? I have no idea. I, that would be an Alex or Mickey question, honestly. Yeah, because I'm curious. Did he, did, was he met That's with resistance and then tried to find the right deputy mayor to sneak this into him? Right, right. Like that, I'm That's not sure, but I, I, I probably do, went to Mickey, honestly. I also do know AU approved things that he wasn't meant to. Who's AU? Like he, AU was an old well, deputy AU mayor. He was AU, yeah. yeah old deputy mayor he was like ems deputy mayor and there was a few instances where things like definitely should not have been approved and he approved them anyway so yeah plain and simple yeah he almost fuck. gave the wind farm away to uh to a, a group of people uh the wrong wind excuse farm? me yeah he almost gave the wind farm as a business oh, he, away. Almost, he almost approved gotcha. that yeah he almost yeah okay uh well i mean Plain and simple, Marty fucked himself for trying to push a business that wasn't supposed to get approved. I'm going to yeah, assume he well, did. That. I agree, Marty's but not stupid. I, I, I agree, let him but uh, but maybe it's good to be uh, transparent about that. That that is the case now, so he understands that it's no go. I have been trying yes, to get that across. Yes, but we don't owe him anything. I'm right. trying, trying, trying to get that across. Um, I'm doing my due diligence by you know asking Crane, and he's asking the Senate, and then if it's still a hard no, then I will, you know, still. You know, send that message to them, and then we'll see what they want to so, do. So you're saying that's a process that is happening right now? Yes, it is. All yeah. right. So we wait then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, um. Michael Simone is probably out of prison. What? Don't give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> yeah, oh, just yeah. letting you know. Just you asked for things that happened in the last week. I heard about that. From someone like two days ago. So, who'd you hear from? Uh, Reed. Oh, okay. Doesn't Reed walk around in a diaper? Underwear stained. Yes. I thought he uh. killed Michael Simone. But Michael Simone is alive. So. 
All and right. actually kill him. Um, Leslie, are you okay? Yes, yes, it was a lot of fun, actually. The fuck hey. was fun? The island? Being a prisoner I of war was them, fun? Uh, yeah, I told them not to capture me. I've escaped into North Korea. It was not a match. It was five days of cat and mouse, and I was the cat. In fact, I was the lion. A pest that they wanted me off the island. I escaped, I think, 11 times. The first time I spring booted over the walls, and then they chased me in the water, and I threatened to kick a mine, an underwater sea mine. Walls all up. And when they got close, I choked them out with my legs while handcuffed. Jesus. Wow, yes. my God. That is so cool. Mm hmm And then I almost beat a man up, almost got his AK. I was about to shoot everybody. And then I knocked out Kane and covered myself in camouflage and uh, tried to build spears. And then uh, I found one of the people, they were mute. I thought they would be able to speak, so I stabbed him to death. But it Jesus. turned out he wasn't able to speak at all. So oh. it was oh my God. a bit unnecessary. And then uh, I uh, went on to the radio channel, announced my escape, and then I fled on two dolphins. On what? two dolphins? Yes, one for each foot. Wow. wow. Like the uh, water skis. Yes. Do it down in Barbados. Incredible imagery. Mm. That's amazing. It was a good time. So you're good, though? Yes, yes. Okay. Better, in fact. It was a bit of a uh, shampoo for the soul. Well, that's good to hear. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. They also had a, they had a blood moon. Uh, but it kind of turned everything purple, yes, when it was up in the sky. Okay, hold on. And then oh, when wow. they couldn't find me, Kane yelled on the radio, very upset. He yelled, uh, turn off the blood moon! And then it turned huh? off. But they got a different moon wow. than us? I think it's like a... Um, I think it's kind of like a like a set type thing where, like, you pull the rope oh. and the moon goes up. Such a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know mm -hmm. all about that. Oh, okay. Speaking of moon sets, the one in yeah, it's good. It's good. Right, I saw so that. Good. Yeah. Speaking of space, Lang, have you seen the new control tower up at yes, the launch it? site? I have not. I will take a look. It Field trip. Amazing. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, what else? What else was brewing while we were by before I left? Um, I'm trying to think. We've just kind of been holding it down. We didn't really have too many meetings. Okay. Um, doing some stuff at the arena this week, which we're um, like pretty excited about. Hell yeah, what you doing? Uh, we're doing that VLC stuff. Um, I wanted to fly to Spain and get some fighters from Spain that we might be able to fly in here f like for the day and do like an international fight. And we might fly to Brazil and bring Hell a fighter yeah. back from Brazil too. Hell Thought yeah. that could be kind of a cool thing to do. Hell yeah. Um, I will not be there, but I support you. That is totally fine. I understand, but I'm really excited about it. And I think my wedding decorations just got flown in this morning. So I'm going to go check those out too. So I'll be able to decorate for people's weddings in the city now. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Um, I don't know. It's actually been a really chill week. People have just been like in and out, vibing. All right. Well, uh, we'll see what happens this week. Where mm. the fuck is Harry Brown? No idea. No. Good question. Leslie, a missing does your, report? Leslie, does your text still hold appropriate? What? Oh. Your text yes. from Wait. 12, 12 days ago? Uh, it depends. Have Lang assessed Harry's access to the bank account? I think we wait until we see him again. Okay. I don't All trust right. him with access. Okay. Uh, Lang, but, if you uh, can... Luckily, uh, Lang has revoked all of his bank access to any account, so it should be impossible for him to access anything. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Right, Lang? Yeah. That's correct. God. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, the only way he would be able to access something is if Lang didn't remove the access, which he did. So we I mean, there's multiple ways. I mean, you can put a gun to somebody's head, force access, hack into it, uh, impersonate somebody. But, a bit uh, unlikely. Yeah. Bit unlikely, but could happen. It's not impossible, just very unlikely. Yeah. Just want to, you know, make it uh, pointed out there that it's not uh, completely impossible. There are some possibilities that could happen. Yeah. Of course, of course. Always a possibility. Just very, 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 very unlikely. Yeah. 
Hmm. Right. Interesting. Okay. What do you guys think about like a, a human cannonball adventure park? Oh, sounds fun. What the fuck is this Fortnite, Marlo? No, this is real life. So are you gonna sh- how are you gonna shoot a motherfucker out of a cannonball? Cannon. Cannon. Wait, people, the people have been doing it since like day dot since back in the day. I used to see it on TV. Name one it's time like you've seen it on TV. Parks and around like Name one the, time you've seen it on TV. experience of being launched out of a human cannon. Right. Hmm. Is that gonna be faked too, Marlo? No, that's real. That's practical effects. Okay. Okay. Just checking. Then right. you're getting older. I wouldn't expect you to want to be shot out of a cannon. No, I right. will pass. I do support you, though. But, all right, guys. Uh, I think uh, we're probably going to have a pretty chill Monday. So, uh, everybody have a good day. And uh, if you need me, I'll be around. Give me a call. Okay. All right. Um, make sure to head up to the launch site and maybe talk to Bucky. Yeah, I'm going to speak to Bucky right now. Okay, good. Good luck with that one. Can he ask you to? Oh, yeah. Oh, what, do mean, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Yeah, get, get back over here. What the fuck did Bucky tell you guys? Yeah, Bucky talked to all of us. Marlo, oh, can you step out of the room, please? Uh, did, did Bucky yeah. talk to you? Technically, yeah, not yeah. high inch. Can yeah, you step Bucky out talk. of the room, please, Marlo? Yeah. Like all the way out? Yes. Okay. Yes, all the way out. Um, Bucky may have done some dumb shit, and I believe we have prevented him from continuing to do dumb shit, but he's getting a little overzealous and excited about things, and so he needs to talk to you about some things. What the fuck did he do this time? What did he do this time? He... It's really hard to explain. Really just isn't. Say it, really isn't. Say just just it, say he, it. Really isn't. So he, he gave Sanguine the list of things that they should buy to protect themselves from Los Santos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then he gave PD his uh, hookup for all of the equipment that he's buying through us so that they could buy it themselves. Then Stubble wants to work with him on running his own department with the PD, I think. Whoa, wait, wait. Can we uh, rewind? Re- 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 yeah. Rewind. Rewind. Yeah, rewind. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So rewind from the second part. Go again. He gave Sanguine the list of stuff to buy. Yeah. Then he he hooked up the PD with his manufacturers so that they can buy their own equipment like the equipment that we're buying this is why it's oh sorry this is why it's really bad bucky's a fucking know. idiot you guys understand yes, he's probably that, gonna get fired at this that's, conversation that's, correct that's what i told him us anymore at all they don't need cia at all. but so but apparently stubble wants to work with him and have bucky be involved in it but I'm like, he's already CIA, so why would he then go and start working with Sanguine and the PD? I'm going to fire Bucky. This is done. I'm done with Bucky. He can go do, do whatever the fuck he wants. He can go do it by himself. He's gone. What else has he done? Uh, Basically just been like, well, what if I have a meeting with this person and you and Eve? And I'm like, no, you need to talk to Lang before you do anything. Because if you don't talk to Lang before you do anything... It's really, really bad. And he's like, but I just want information. No, J- you need to talk to Lang before you do anything. Stop speaking to people. What if I just get information? No, stop speaking to anybody. It can wait a couple days. Like if you actually want to do a deal with the PD and Lang says it's cool and Leslie says it's cool, then great. Move forward and do that, but don't do it on your own. Guys, I'm probably going to find I want nothing to do with Bucky anymore. Okay. I would hear him out, at least listen to what the fuck he was trying to say. Yeah, but it doesn't but matter. Like the, the amount of time. shit that he did while uh, 
the day Leslie went missing, uh, Campana with all this shit, I, I just want nothing to do with Bucky anymore. He's incapable of yeah, listening, dude, and he thinks choice. he has all the power to do what he wants. And uh, I cannot work with somebody like that. I refuse to. And, I, and I'm tired I of uh, constantly having the same conversation over and over with Bucky. It did take the $13 million back from him, by the way, for the purchase. Okay. Because he said he wasn't going to be able to get it. So I just wanted to get the $13 million potentially yes. out, out of his um, hands, just in case. Yeah. He'll, yeah. Just uh, keep in mind to just take away his bank access from most stuff before anything. Yeah. Oh, and he knew I took it away. He was like, I'm going to send the money back. And in front of him, I just said, I'm going to take the $13 million right now, just in case. And he said, okay, fine. All right. So he's downstairs right. waiting. Oh, he's here. Jesus Christ, this guy. Okay. Call uh, me the Vajra Bucky, I'm going to make this uh, short, sweet, and simple, but you are fired from anything related to Cerberus, my man. Okay. Yeah. You have overstepped time and time again. You've uh, seeked opportunity only to benefit yourself and not any of the companies you work for. Uh, although your intentions might be pure, your actions uh, were not. I wholeheartedly disagree and hope you will hear me out. Uh, sure. My actions with Jaeger, regardless of their intentions, best or not, they were done without your oversight, and that was a mistake. You use Leslie's situation life. to make profit. I was unaware Leslie was captured when I did that at the time. I should have talked to you about it, and you would have been able to tell me that Leslie was currently captured and prevented me from doing that, and that would have saved you guys significantly on the island. That is my fault for not speaking to you guys. Second, uh, I was on the island because I was pursuing Leslie back to it from Roosters. I did not know you did not want me there. I told you you weren't coming. What do you mean? I, okay. I apologize. Bucky, I told you to stay put. You're not coming on the island. Within an hour of being on that island, we run into you. Okay. Then that's my mistake. Moving on, what else you got to say? I was approached by Stubble and he told me that he wants to, or rather the PD are going to be main, I guess, receiving their own plugs from, uh, for military stuff. And he wants to involve me. And my plan was to set up a supply chain where Aegis acquires vehicles, maintains those vehicles, holds them in reserve, and then passes them to the PD when they require them. That's never going to happen. You understand that, correct? Okay. Yeah. I... I sort of feel like we have been doing that. No, name one time we've done that. This past uh, weekend, you're sorry, the, last Friday, uh, the Sanguine Isle was going on, uh, cargo bombed the anti-air guns to the aircraft trailer. Or, sorry, the aircraft carrier. Why? In case the Sanguine decided to fly a helicopter into our airspace. 
a helicopter that uh, you helped them uh, acquire. I did not help them acquire the helicopter. Right. Well, I need to work on taking orders and listening, I guess. That's the best way to put it. Uh, I... I did that phone call with Jaeger because I believed at the time that it was in the company's in your best interest. I went to the island chasing Leslie to try and stop him from getting captured again in his best interest. On the island, you said you can turn around now and flee or you can follow us into near certain death. And I followed you. That's that's not, that's not what I said. I was going to kill you right then and there, but Harry told me not to. We could use you. So I said, come with us. Then on the island, I got shot in the leg for my actions. Uh, and Harry was incapacitated, and I swam him all the way to a boat and took him to the aircraft carrier. I may not always follow things to a T. However, I have always acted in both your and the company's best interest. Regardless if I, regardless if the outcome maybe worked against you because of my blindness to running things by you or things like that. However, I, my intentions have always been for the company and for yourself. Yeah, but you knew Leslie was captured. I'm sorry. You didn't know Leslie was captured, Bucky. There's no way you didn't know. Harry told me he was captured on Friday. Okay. The phone call happened before that. What phone call? To Jaeger. Okay, so uh, when did it happen? I, I don't know, but in, in, in earlier in the day. Earlier in the, the same day that Leslie was captured? I don't know what time he was captured. All I know is Harry was at Roosters with a helicopter. And that's where he told me. Listen, Bucky, uh, this has really changed much. You are fired. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, I'm going to need you to turn over uh, all the uh, all the equipment, uh, your badge, and uh, your uniform. You can keep the arm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to need you to do it swiftly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I still have loyalty to you, Lang. Uh, that is fine. But uh, you've become reckless, uh, emotional, and uh, you don't think the way you used to. You're not fit for the job that uh, you've taken. Not, not anymore, anyways. May I ask how I used to think? Uh, it does not matter. I guess I don't really know what I'm going to do with myself. But that's my problem. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people uh, don't tend to think uh, about where their actions can get them. So. 
playing everything I did. I was trying to do it for you, for Leslie, for Dean, for the company. That is how I've always operated. It does not matter. I admit that I have been blindsided sometimes and not taken the proper course of action that I should have. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to run off to Jaeger or something now. I, I'm. I... Do not care what you do. I just, after everything, is this truly the end? The end of what? What do you mean? (laughs) The end of me having a purpose. Uh, that that is not a question I can answer. You are fired uh, from this company, Bakin. Is that permanent? I mean, it's being fired. Okay. Uh, we'll wait here for you to uh, return the equipment you've acquired. Yeah. Um, you want to come with me to the gentry so I can give you the aircraft, the anti-air uh, stuff? Uh, just bring it here. We'll wait here. That might be a while. That's okay. All right. Sorry for leaving you hanging there, but it wasn't really my place. But that was probably the worst conversation I've sat next to in my life. <laughs> what do you mean? It's just very uncomfortable. Why? You should have kept his dignity. <laughs> I feel like any chance of returning is pretty much lost now. You did not go about that the right way. It's not, it's not, it's not a matter of re- returning or, or anything like that. Buck, Bucky just could not understand that. He, I, I hate the cop out of, oh, I was doing it in the best interest of this person. It doesn't matter, okay? It, it does not matter. Uh, he communicated with nobody. He took a lot of things upon himself to do and to execute. And uh, ended up fucking over a lot of people. And he knew you were captured. If I even recall correctly, yeah. I don't think he cared. No, I agree. I'm saying there's a good way of... of- Accepting getting fired, and there's a bad way, and I think that was a bad way. Yeah. Yeah, not great. Um, in other news, I had a meeting uh, before this meeting with um, the Bruce, is his name. I believe he works with Speedy. Uh, he's the okay. Italian guy. You've met him. Um, he wanted help in inquiring the Bahama Mamas, and we both know the story of the Bahama Mamas. Um, but according to him, he had this pretty interesting plan where he wanted to revitalize the Bahama Mamas in the previous storm because, according to him, there's a lot of British people that are around in that area at that time, and he feels that he can make it more alive. And I told him to talk to Bunny, who is the owner of that establishment. If she's not using it, then maybe he could buy it for just that storm or buy it in entirety. 
but I told him to keep R and my name out of it for now, but we would maybe be willing to help him fund it if he finds a resolution. Um, I thought he wanted the vanilla unicorn. Well, that's well, bought by Marty Banks. Oh, wow. Marty bought it from yes. Mr. K? I'm not sure from who I didn't ask, but he told me during the meeting that Marty did buy it last week, I think. Holy shit. There's no way Mr. K sold in the VU. I don't know who owned it prior. Um, I, th I think Mr. K like owned the majority of the vanilla unicorn for like years now. Hmm. Well, according to Bruce, uh, Marty is the new owner. Interesting. Okay. Um, um, the thing with Bahama Mamas is, like, is it even used? I don't think so. But then again, I never really check. But I don't never, I never see any events on Twitter and everything like, and never anything like that. But you could argue the same for our, our bar, the split sides. Yeah, she's but, never really used either, but we wouldn't want to just give it up to anyone, right? So she's probably in the same predicament. Yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to giving up uh, split sides. I mean, I've, I've tried like five times, right? I've given it to like five different mm -hmm. people. They all just never do anything with it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really do think maybe there are, I've always wondered if there should be like a system in check where like every three to six months, like businesses, like big time businesses that own big time property have to like, Go through some sort of checks and balances to make sure that business is still running. I agree. I do think um, it's difficult to put in place, though, because it's not as linear. Sometimes it's owned by person, a gang. It's very uh, unclear. It's not a clear structure of ownership sometimes. So it yeah. becomes difficult to allocate of, oh, who should this apply to, to not. In our case, it's very easy. But in most cases, it's not. True. Uh, and at the end of the day, what you would hope for is for people to have common sense. I mean, if somebody approached me or you with a good business plan for the split size, we would obviously not be opposed to letting it go. But other people might not feel that way. Huh. So I, I don't know. I, I think the idea of enforcing that would be good. The question is how you would do it in an appropriate manner. Maybe have somebody that evaluates businesses. Like a person that goes around and just like checks yeah, and balances. I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe have some sort of uh, way to be like, okay, this business is not running. It's been inactive. Uh, you know, you're relinquished of, uh, you know, any sort of ownership. I don't know. Right. The, only, I, the only difference, I guess, in what I would propose is don't create a system for it, but have a person that does yeah. it. Because you don't want to, I guess it could be easily abused. Yes. You would have to have somebody that's like respected and has... You know, all that stuff. Yeah. Probably impossible to fill a position like that, honestly. It's not easy, but it's it's not impossible, but it's very difficult. Yeah. But it would be good. Um, I, but I, I, I don't know. I feel like... But then again, like, I was also put in that position with my minds when I took hiatus. A lot of people, especially Rami, wanted to buy it. and couldn't comprehend why I didn't want it sold. Um... Because it wasn't being used at the time, and it might seem greedy, but it's not from a place of greed for some. Yeah, I guess uh, although it is, it is a bit different though, because the mines was never supposed to be an official business. It was most mostly supposed to be like a funny little tool type thing. Yeah, I guess maybe something like that would be bad, because then people people would definitely try to abuse it and be like, "Well, this person has these mines that are never used. Let me buy it." Yes, and then it becomes like a very much us versus them of like, "Oh, I put in this much time, but you only did this." Like, yeah, that could actually get really bad. Not the more that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But I think in the case of Bahama Mamas, to my knowledge, it's never used. But I could be wrong. I'm not around twenty four seven. But I never see it used. And I think somebody like Bruce, who is a very strong uh, personality and uh, knows his way around things, he could definitely make something happen there. Not saying that Bunny isn't, but it seems like she's taken a bit of a hiatus when it comes to the business aspect. I mean, his best bet might be to uh, just honestly get a storefront and uh, build a club in it, honestly. Yeah, but we both know why people don't want to do that, too. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, I mean, I told him just talk to her and see if she's willing. Because I feel like Bunny, if anyone, would maybe be open to that. I don't think I haven't seen Bunny in a long time. Me neither. <laughs>
Death Wing and Mrs. Team Rocket? Everyone does, man. So I'm also that's... trying to buy the property next to the church. It's a little house with a tennis court. Oh, okay. Yes. Somebody on it? It's owned by a Ming Jing Tai. Oh, good luck, buddy. I will try. Yeah, good luck. 